one hour and 30 minutes of complete fucking failure, I'm actually doing some fucking progress. Actually, after one hour and 30 minutes, I'm actually doing some proper progress in this game without constantly dying to everything for the entirety of this episode. A never-ending struggle of actually gaining my first goddamn level. Ow! Let's start the man, welcome back to Colon Ship, a post air rowing playing game. I'm Nirmat and the the man. I have no fucking idea what the heck I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Last time we've started the game, we've created our character, uh, we've went to the local, let's say, shop, we've had our first fight, we even have the possibility to recruit uh, a guy that was hired over there for, well, defensive purposes, for protection. Let's just say that if it was not for us, he would be probably now sniffing uh, the floor. And, well, since I am playing as the lone wolf, uh, I decided not to get him into the fight and, well, we will see what will happen today. And, okay, so what exactly I need to do? I need to travel to the armory, I need to confront Joanna's, the crossroads. Hmm, okay. I'll probably want to look around for, like, some additional quests, maybe. The promised land. I don't remember, are you like a brothel or what exactly is this thing? Promised land. What the fuck is the promised land? Hello? Oh, Sabar, okay. Hello! Welcome to promised land, says the wanderer, powering you up fluorescent drink. He spills a few drops on the counter and then shimmer and gleam in the light, dissolving the paint and etching the metal. The first round is on the house. <laughs> Birkin Long? Too long, if you ask me. Maybe it's time to head back to the habitat. What's this like, the habitat? Different things to different people. You think the mission is more important than anything else? You feel right at home at the pros protectorate and the shenanigans won't bother you none. Hell, you might even be leading that parade. But it's freedom you care above all else. Then you won't find a finer place than the old pit. Then why do you move him back? Too much freedom! <laughs> the, bar the bartender grins slightly. Truffed. Truth to be told, I won't mind something stability, and if I have to join a club to enjoy it, then so be it. Hmm. Okay. But I don't have a button to lighten up everything I can like interact with. Wait, wait, hold on a second. What the fuck is this? Howdy. Can I speak over here? Hello. Mr. Redford is expecting you. You can go in. Redford? Wait, hold on. So is this Joanna's Redford? Uh, quests. Where are the quests? Oh, yeah. So that's come from Joanna's. Okay. Uh, should we try to go in? Yeah, sure. Let's go in. I mean, there are like a few killers around here, so I bet nothing bad is gonna happen to my sorry ass. No, no, no. Go in front of the desk. For a scavenger. Oh, for a scavenger, Jonas Redford was more successful than more ab uh, and more ambitious than most. In order to facilitate more. Uh, efficient runs into the mission control runes, Joanna set up a base camp in Cargo Hold 3, right next to the action. Such a good idea couldn't remain secret for long, and his fellow scavengers soon began pitching their tents nearby. With his increasing popularity, the camp attracted a growing crowd of traders, whores, and other hangouts, and people began to see this as a rugged alternative to the habitat, which promised safely, but insist on submission in change. At some point, Jonas realized that more money was waiting to be made right here in the pit, as it had come to be called, then out in the wasteland. He opened the promised land, the finest and only whorehouse in town, and settled into a role as the de facto mayor of this frontier town. You've got some nerve, new dynamite, says Jonas, putting down his glass. I know why you're here, so say your words and get out. You crossed the line. I'd like to hear your side of the story first. Hold your horses, Jonas. I don't know what you've heard, but I'm here to warn you that Braxton is standing up some shit. Your story first. Do you now? <laughs> the only reason you see the briefing is because Braxton expects me to kill you, and I'm not going to do this bastards any favors. But if you think I'm going to explain myself to you, think again. You man would have killed Abe if I didn't step in. Says who? asks Jonas, waving away. As far as I know, they were gonna down before they did anything. You killed them for what they might have done, and you know it. You weren't there. The kid was second away from pu pulling the trigger. 
Now that's interesting, says Janus screaming at you. I sent two men to force Ape to pay what he owe me for hiring the regulars. One man was in his 50s, the other was about 45. Which one of them do you call a kid? I know what I saw. What did you see? Two men who claim it to be working for me, you know. I've got a hand to Braxton. The man knows how to put on a show. What you're saying? I'm saying Braxton played you a fiddle. I'm guessing you're here because Braxton suggested it, which means he wanted you to warn me. <laughs> I think I see where this is, where he's going with that. So tell me, New Dynamite, you still with Braxton or are you having second thoughts? Sitwise free. I am with you, of course. I'll be geared up for war already, if I could afford it. I only got one stat in that thing. Braxton's the man. All right, to target me around, Jonas. What do you need me to do? You're going to help us take out the regulators, he says. If he's assigned an unpleasant chore that been uh, let slide too long. They don't know about us, but a certain piece of gear will even even the odds. Even heard of a brainwave disruptor? A grenade? Never seen one, but I've heard of it messed with your brain. <laughs> that it does! It's an anti riot grenade, F mate. It scrambles your brain and makes you forget what you're doing, and you just stand there taking the air. Braxton will be watching my boys like a hawk, but since you're an unknown, you can run fetch it while Sam, he nods at his unfortunate, runs interference. <laughs> but I'm going to find this thing. Good question. The Earth meter relics aren't exactly common those days, but I bet Cole can point you to the right direction. He sells all kinds of crap, most of the shipmate, of course, but he also keeps track on who has what. Okay, I have to visit a store, I guess. The Holy Grail, travel to the armory. Hmm. Okay, I wonder is this like, did they already made the decision or can I still do something else? Yeah, apartment, uh, camp town map, mainstream map. Okay, apparently we have to go to the opposite side of the city. So let's see, can I go this way and seek out the guy who owns the other part of this, well, junkyard. Oh look, it's Aiden from uh, Watch Dogs. Look, I can't be picked up. Keep walking. <laughs> sure, man, whatever you say. Okay, can I get down some somehow? Okay, where is the, where is the guy that owns the other side of the city? A bar, engine fuel. Mm. Mercy? Is this, is this where I'm supposed to go? Engine fuel is added to your map. Okay, that's nice. Is Mercy expecting you? As is the guard taking a break from his daydreaming leave. <laughs> I guess that's a no. Where the fuck was that other guy located? I honestly don't remember. Emporium. Hmm. General store. The fuck is this thing? Is an auction house? Courthouse. Oh, it's a courthouse. Okay. Hold on a second. I think I. Med Bay Regula Oh, Regulators HQ. That's where I need to go. Okay, here I go. Hi, guys. Please don't kill me. At least not yet. Where the fuck is the boss? Uh. Okay. Captain Braxton doesn't accept visitors. If you have a complaint, leave it to the front desk. Sure, why not? So I've just noticed that I've already officially joined the regulators. I mean, the... Uh, what those guys are called? Joanna's faction. And I cannot do anything with the regulators. The decision have been made. We cannot be a, a bit of a, you know, uh, uh, we're gonna force you kinda into it because you walk into a random building and spoke with a random guy. Why there was not an option to, like, you know, get both... Uh, both... Mm, stories, right? So speak with this first guy, then speak with the other guy, get their sides of the story, and then make a decision. That's how a proper rowing playing game should be like, I think. Or, you know, try to cheese the game and, like, you get a quest from this guy, you get a quest from this guy, you do a quest for both of them, and then you decide to which one you actually want to join for bonus experience points and items, you know? That's how it goes in rowing playing games, boys. That's how it goes. But okay, whatever. Travel to the armory, the holy grail. I don't think the armor is over here. Yeah, probably the armor is somewhere over here. We have to probably leave town. So I'm gonna leave town. I think this way. How do you leave town? 
out of the gates. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, there's a... Oh, okay. There's an elevator over here, but you look at that bad boy. And... Oh, no loading screen. How awesome. Okay, I don't... I have no fucking idea where the fuck I am. Leave the area. Okay. Where in the seven fucks I am? The hell is this thing? Some type of a tra Is this ship really this big that you need? Oh my god, you can see the... Oh. Well, that's a nice view. But okay, apparently... Apparently... This is the way to go? Okay. I can go over here. Oh. We should look at that. There's something over here. Up and up. Hello! Hmm, nothing inside. Fix control panel first. Okay, so there's supposed to be some type of a secret here. So that's great. And I don't think there are any lockers around here we could try to open. Gate. No, okay. Right, and this way we can actually leave the area. So I'm gonna try to visit the armory and hopefully I'll be able to find some proper equipment. Ah! No idea what this thing is. The armory. I want to see what's gonna happen? With row after row of gutted deeps, the armory scratches before you as a shell of what it was once. The Munitioners hit it fast and hard, overrunning these surprised security forces and stripping it off supplies, weapons and armor. The fuck was that? Uh, weapons and armor meant for the future colony flooded the ship, turning the immunity into a full fledged war. The ship authority held its own end keeping control of the lower decks, but as a great cause that went far beyond the armory's lost supplies. Explore the armory. Whoa! -ho -ho! What the hell is that? Is like, oh crap, that is... The fuck are those? Mutated geckos? I've, I've seen my fair share of those things in the fucking Fallout, man. I don't want to see more of them. Okay, let's explore! Ah, use control panel. Okay. Let's see. Electronics too. Hmm. Okay, hold on a second. Can I increase my stats somehow? No, not this thing. Uh, okay, I don't think I can... I'm so close to getting a level up. If I would get a level up, I think I could actually try to do something. Alright, let's see what else we could try to do over here. Examine crates. Too heavy to move. Yeah, there's a dead corpse behind this thing with implants in them, and I really want some of those. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick save, and I apparently have to squeeze through this thing if I want to go inside and have a chance to fight with those bastards. I got myself the Gatling gun, so it should be easy, right? Squeeze through. Come on. Okay. Several devil frogs are tearing strips of a flesh from of a flesh from a long dead corpse. Judging from the hole in the chest, it was a shotgun blast that did it him, not the frogs. A few years ago, you never see frogs outside of hyperponics, but the fungi must have driven them out, and now the mutants bastards skulk whatever they can find rotting garbage, sometimes of the human short. Luckily, they rarely attack the living, so if you leave them alone, they do the same. Unlucky. They are squatting between, uh, squatting between you and the dead man's pockets, and they're not likely to move without a fight. Stick past them. No. Oh. <laughs> Start stealth run. What the fuck, man? Okay, I, I hope. It didn't fucking work. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Okay, well, sucks to be you, boy. Fifteen. Dead! What dead? <laughs> okay, reload. And hide. It's a bullfrog! Close combat. Uh oh, here comes the other one. Uh, Alright, fire. 12. Shit. Oh, come on, really? I cannot move. This is bad. Uh, can you do one shot? I think I can do one more shot. Oh, you can do one more shot. How awesome. Okay, reload. I can't reload. Ow. I'm getting gazed. He's at, he's biting my dick off. Close combat. Ow. Motherfucker. Ow. Uh-oh, there's more of them over there. Okay, chat to shoot it. How much ammunition I have? Two shots. 
Not enough. Come on! Oh, that's not enough. That's really not enough. Okay, run! Really? Reaction attack. Hmm. Ow. Uh-oh. Just a scratch. I better this by five. That's not good. Where's the critical shot? Not enough action points. Oh, I'm so fucking dead. No! 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 Don't you fucking dead! Son of a bitch! You know what? Fuck this thing. I'm just gonna attack you. I'm just gonna attack you like the shit that you are. 24. Sneak sniper shot! Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Over here, I think I'm ready. Set combat. Fire! Gazed. Hmm. Gazed. Yay! Missed. Fuck! Uh, okay, don't, I can't reload, which is kind of fucking annoying. Oh, I can still shot. No, I can't. Not enough action points. Ow. Blinded. Wait, what? What do you mean I'm fucking blinded? Ow. Okay, I'm playing against the long wolf. It's apparently not the best option right now. Splitter. Oh, that's, that's, that's how it works. Okay. 14. And that. Reload. Action points. Okay, time to use the head kilt. I have regained health. And now I'm dying. Ow. Oh, come on. This is fucking bullshit. Okay, try to kill maybe the bullfrogs first. Somehow. Okay, we've missed. Uh... Oh, this one's even worse. Okay. Damage. Legs. How many action points for this thing? Action cost nine. Five. Okay, this is definitely better. If only you would be capable of actually hitting the enemy, that would be great. Fuck. Okay, move away. Ha, ah, you've missed. Close combat. Okay, I can work with that. Hey, finally doing something! Alright, how many shots I got? Two shots. Fuck. Okay, one down. Swap the weapon. Can you shoot this thing? Not enough action points, boss! Well, fuck you. Swap this thing back, reload. What, you didn't reload it? Okay, you reloaded. Uh, short burst. Hmm. I'm gonna try to do this thing. If I'll survive, of course. Ow. Ow. Seriously? Come on! <laughs> he cannot... Where's my turn? Okay, thank you. Thank you, game. Much appreciated. No, honestly. Much appreciated. Okay. I want you to do burst. I want you to fire upon this thing. Fire! You've missed two shots. I'm calling this thing bullshit. Oh, come on. This fight is gonna be a lot harder than I have expected. Okay, try to do once again a fucking stealth. Okay. Right. Go around. Hey, they haven't noticed me, so that's how it works. Yay. Uh, end the turn. Squeeze through. You must have spoken the frogs. They quickly crawl into a hole, dragging what's left of the cops with them. Move on. Ah, fuck. They took the cops with them. Oh, man. But there's definitely a lot more now to explore. What the fuck? Okay, I cannot fix this thing. It requires electronics from me. Is it up? Oh. See if there's anything else. Some ammunition. That's nice to have, I guess. Is there anything else around here? Oh, wait. Electronics. Scrap for trap uh, for parts. You get experience in a module that can be used elsewhere. Thanks, game. Anything else? I don't see any enemies around here, which is... Oh, a door. Elevator door. Hey, there's somebody over here. There's, there are guards here. The fuck are those guys? Oh, let me... No! Let me guess. 
two looters are going through the crates, too distracted to notice you approaching. It won't be hard to make, this, uh, make it to the nearby elevator. Sneak the elevator, kill, better kill them, go back. I'm not ready for that encounter just yet. But then again, there are only two of them. If I would gain some more experience points and gain a level, I think I can actually try to do something here. Hmm. Yeah. Too bad, I, too bad that the frogs got distracted, you know? I could probably use, like, some more experience with them. I thought they're gonna stay! I thought they're gonna stay here and wait for me so I can actually kill them. But no! They decided to run away! Fucking bastards! I bet they were French. They, they for sure have been French, man. I'm gonna try to fight with those bastards and see where I can actually get something out of this thing. Uh, 5% to, 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 to damage you? 22 percentage. Sure, why not? Start the combat. Fire. 22 percent, did you say? Five. Ugh. Ugh, six. And that's actually gonna be all, folks. <laughs> Ow. Why the fuck my enemies are always so good at, like, fighting with me, huh? Haha, <laughs> you've missed. Oh, 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 okay, I'm actually good at this thing. Holy shit, ow. Can you kill him, please? Come on. I just want this guy dead. Not enough action points. Oh, fuck you, game. Okay, healing item. Right, I'm fucking ready to die. Ow. Ow. Thanks, game. You know what? I am I am an experience points whore, right? I've I've took the guy from the previous episode. I didn't even manage to like bother to kill him. We're going in, and we're gonna try to actually kill those guys, those those fucking frogs, and hopefully I'm gonna get some experience points out of this thing, right? I I am not so good when it comes to playing with with a companion because my guy is better at being alone. But well, let's let's give it a try, shall we? Close combat, ow! Hmm, you got lucky. You don't fucking say. For my face! He goes for my face! You fucking bastard! Okay, right. Sure. So, kill the splitter maybe. Because he's about to kill this guy. Okay. And heal, I guess. Uh, okay, Evans, your turn. What exactly weapons do you have? You have a bolt and you have a pistol. Okay, 7 points. 22 points. Try to do, do it with a the pistol then. You fucking miss, you pathetic piece of shit. Really? Two? Oh my god. Oh, you can't be real right now. You don't have enough action po- <sighs> The pain and suffering you have to go through. Never mind, he's dead. That's a good shot, I guess. Interesting thing. If you're gonna go in and start the combat from the from the event, then the frogs will start. But if you're gonna do sneaking and then start the combat, then you start first. Sure. Okay. Let's let's give it a try this way. Nice shot. Good shot. Oh, you already don't have ammunition. Nice. Shotting costs seven action points and reloading costs two. Okay, I can work with this. If only you would not be that pathetic and actually don't miss. Okay, oh, you've missed. Close combat. Ow. How about you gonna react somehow, you pathetic piece of shit? Dude, come on, you can't be this fucking bad. Okay, shoot. Cased, okay. Hey, we're making some progress. What? Not enough action points. Oh, fuck off, man. Uh, I got three. Three remaining. Can I do something with a knife? Not enough action points. It cost me five. Oh, Fury. Oh. Oh. Well. Okay. I may actually try to use some melee weapon from time to time. We're gonna see. Uh, end the turn. Ow. Wait, was I supposed to move at the other guy? Ow. I don't think I moved at the other guy. Ow. Shit. Well, time to die, I guess. Heal point. Change the weapon. Okay, I got three shots. I've missed. 
Not enough action points. Are you fucking with me right now, game? Are you honestly fucking with me? What the shit? Okay. It all depends now on you, Evan. If you're gonna fucking fail, we are both dead. You and me, together. Nice. Nice, not so good. Fuck. You. How could you miss? How could you miss? You had one job, Evan! You had one job! Never mind. Change of plans because apparently I'm not capable of killing three fucking frogs even with two boys at the same time. So I went to the call and like he's the arms dealer and we need a brainwash disruptor. Cole stops taking and suckling a pile of lost microchips then looks at you with real interest. Earth made relics come pretty dear those days, especially the anti-riot gear. The ship authority shot their whole load at the mutineers. We have one or not? Yes and no, says Cole. Reaching below the continent, he produ produces a small metal globe, the answer of which is covered in uh, design suggesting the circle diagram. Sensing it open, he reveals a hollow space in the center of this densely packed electronic enhance. I need a new car. I don't have one in stock, but I know someone who does. I think I heard this story before. The only piece that get replaced at core is the factory, the easy pickings that were going to before you were born. But I happened to come into some information, knowing precisely where they could be located. I sent a man to fetch them for me. Goes by the name Iash Ishaish Davis. But the son of a bitch is smarter than I thought. He got the cores using my tip, but refuses to sell them to me. Goes starting scrubbing at the lens of his left eye with a tiny cloth, waiting for you to go figure out what he is asking you to do. So you want me to... I want my free cores. Bring them to me. And the disruptor is yours. And don't tell me how you obtain them because I don't care. Can I ask you something else? What I can do for you? What you can sell? Uh, okay, gadgets. Wow. Flashbank. Distillation field. Gadget. Oh. Oh, make it, make it difficult for to target its user. Difficult, but not impossible. Energy shield, gadget, anti-riot energy shield, one standard kit for ship authority security forces. It now serves as a symbol of status and strength. I wonder if this thing actually work. That'd be cool, if this thing actually would work. Okay, right. Acquired disruption course. Who the fuck took them? Uh, his place is near engine fuel bar in Camp Town. In Camp Town, you say? Engine fuel. Uh, engine fuel. Jobs. Oh! Oh, you must own. Oh, this is interesting. We can get some experience points over here. I am not going back to the cargo hold, whatever that shit was, because I'm gonna probably all fucking die again. And I've died already like five times, you know? I've tried different cheesing and the cheese does not work over here. Hello. You know how a hunter firearms? The proprietor asks, apparently not a man of <laughs> for pleasantries. Haven't lost my fingers yet. I know how to solve problems if that's what you're asking. I don't need a gun to do that. Excellent, he replies, without any enthusiasm. You hired. Hired for what? Why do you think someone hires a gun hand? Either because he expects trouble or is planning to steal some up. Pays a hundred credits on the competition. Nothing can front. We are in business, or, uh, aren't we? We are. All right, the proprietor says approvingly. The client is a fellow by the name of Trevor Somebody, known around those parts as Chance. He got a meet up with some groaner boys to sell some kind of doki hoy, doohiki, and his word things might get dicey. If they do, you get to stand between him and a hell of bullets. While he's worried, we are trying to get stiff. Swifty and sell some junk gas to up like available tech. If I'm right and they see through this bullshit, he'll have a problem on his hands. And since he's the client, his problems are your problems. We good? Yes. Get a chance in a nearby bar, which doubles up at his office. Tell him Errol send you. Well, I just hope I'm not gonna fucking die again like super quick. So there's my client, I guess. Chance. They know you. The man stands in general direction. His pupils so delighted that you're looking into two bottomless holes. Er told me I could find you here. Okay, yeah, good. You know what the job is, right? As Chance looking anything but confident. If things get smoothy, I make the deal and you get paid for doing nothing. That's what I'm hoping for, of course. But if you grant, 
Krangers turns wasser on us. You need to set up and fast, remember this. If I don't get paid, you don't get paid. I had my end. You got no worries. What's the nature of this deal? Gigantus wants to control Mojur of for one of their their towers. I happen to have an extra one I don't need. That's it. Sure. Let's get shot at. If I have a chance to add skills of the pit, I'll be on the densely populated centers. The environment erratically is more, more orderly as the towering container stacks up on the full, uh, into countless perfect square rows. Nothing here seems to have shifted an inch since the ship left Earth orbit a million years ago. Soon, you arrive at the only open container inside, a dull glow with slight inhuman presence. Go inside. Three men standing silently about a parable heater, the ship equivalent of the frontier campfire, minus the good cheer. Do you have it? The man in charge says in a voice, hoarse and low. <laughs> Horse and low. The left side of his face is disfigured and gruesome, soul's sour sized scars, like vicious circle marks. From one of those ripped craters, the angry orange light of an uh, ocular implant is doing duty for a missing guy. You can help but wonder about the tentacle, tentacle that must have delivered that kiss. Everyone's heard the stories of course, but you felt better telling yourself they were exaggerated. Chance, Harley Youngs a dusted old container module from his belt bag and passes it to Scarface. The Gringer, Grange, Granger, glances down at it, no more, no more than a quick take and tosses it into the ground. What's the deal, Chance? Chance's voice fights the tense silence like a mouse struggling against a snake. You wanted a tower control module? I bought it! A tower control module. Now where's my money? I got shit to do. He cuts his eyes at you, both in a naked appeal for support and giving himself a break from looking at his mark. Scarface isn't so interested in Chance anymore. Through his implants is giving a hard stare and you're guessing it's going more than just staring. Judging by the dis design, it's military hardware already locking in and analyzing the target. The money, like he said, best if you don't make us ask again. What if I can get this module for you? Hmm. Scarface stares at you for a few seconds, as the testing can resolve, then says, Pay them to his men. In response, all three of them raise their guns. Yay, was not expecting that thing to happen, right? Okay, so it's three on three. Let's hope for the best, boys. Wait, did I have my... Okay, I got my, my sneaky gun over here. 855. Five. Shit. 43, 40... Oh, okay. Let's try to... Fuck, why you have so much hit points? Bastards. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hide. And I'm trying to hide my allies as well. Apparently I can't. I cannot hide you over here. Why? That's pretty fucking bullshit, you know. Okay, hide the guy with the lowest hit points. No. The controls in this game are delightful. Okay, start the combat. Right, me first. 50 hit points. Try to shoot the guy with the least hit points first and see how that thing is gonna go. Oh, fuck. Okay, missed. Fuck. Okay, critical. I can work with that. Reload. I cannot reload. That's awesome. End the turn. Okay, now you turn. 38, 53, 61. That's bullshit. Okay, please tell me that you can actually hit this guy. Only for four. That's not good. Come on. I need a critical shot. I got a miss. Thanks. Oh no, he's got a medal. Ow, attack, ow, attack. Can you like stop? Thank you. Ow. Ow. Wow, that's pretty fucking bullshit, you know. Out of range. For what? For a pistol? Block it. This could go a little bit better ne like next time, you know. I did screw up so fucking badly. Why do I have so little hit points all over the place? Okay. Uh, swap the gun. 5%, 5%. Okay, how about you're gonna go a burst attack? Hmm, you've missed. And you only hit it like for free. That was completely not fucking worth it, man. Completely not fucking worth it. And I cannot attack again! Uh... 
It also a little bit better. Okay, now your turn. Shoot at least one of those guys, please. Come on! You've missed. You missed the final shot. Are you shit? You hit for zero. And my guy died! Good job! Good job, you bastards! Not to self. I'm not getting ex any experience like this, man. I'm not getting any experience like this. This is gonna be a never-ending failure of this episode. Uh, okay, can I open up over here? What the fuck? Oh, okay. Uh, you need a drink? He slows finally after nodding himself a couple of times. He reaches for a plastic jar full of... Half full of dark bubbly liquid. Consumption. Accept. I got a lot of that thing. I'm looking for a rare piece of gear. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh. He likes me. I'm looking for a rare piece of gear. Brainwife disrupts, of course. I hate you have some. Do I? He inquires as if it's true. But here's a mystery to him. Kill him quietly. <laughs> Critical strike. That's not gonna... Fuck them over now. Can I actually do this thing? I can give you a good price. I don't think you can. He like shakes his head mournfully. Those girls are priceless. Can get in any place. How can you put a price on something priceless? Answer me that. Stairwise. Okay, that's probably not gonna work. Hmm. I don't think it actually worked. Uh, okay, can I do this? Oh, so his men decided to join me. Okay, well, experience points, I guess. Oh, fuck. Uh, here we go again, I guess. The biggest problem is that I cannot le uh, win any fight since I'm a level 1 character with basically no equipment. I remember that there were those guys over here that you could try to do. Oh, hello. Sidwise. They look like an easy mark to you, <laughs> to you dumb fucks. Our territory. Yeah, sure. You almost had me, Love and Junko. Bulldozer! This jokester is refusing to pay. Knock some sense into him. Well, yeah, kill him. Okay. Why the fuck all of you fuckers have so many hit points, huh? That's the first thing that I want to ask. The second thing I want to ask is why the fuck you have so many hit points? Okay. Right, let's give that a try, okay? I, I think I can win a fight two on two, right? Twelve. Okay. 13, okay, I have some. 5. I think I can work with that thing. Can't do anything else. Okay, now please tell me... Oh, I cannot hit you because I'm blocking you. Oh, shit. I am trying to save you, sorry ass, man. He's, he's gonna be able to hit me. Fuck it. Shoot you. 5. F 6. 2! Oh, uh -huh. It's not like I hate this game, but... Oh, you've missed. How could you miss? Close combat. Seven. Good thing I got... Ow. Melee weapons. Ow. Okay. I can work with this. Shoot this guy first. How could you miss? Thank you. Oh, now you hit him for 14. Fuck you, game. Alright. Can I do anything over here? Can I attack you with the wrench? Can I? Please? No, I can't. I don't think so. Oh, no. End the turn. Okay, but you can, my dear friend, though. Oh, yeah. Too bad I actually sh shot already. 32. And with the other weapon? 57. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll give it a try. 13. Okay. I can work with this. Free. Honestly. Run. Haha, <laughs> you've missed. Come on. Do it again. Ow. Okay, my fucking turn. Reload the shotgun. 14? 12? 6? Ugh. I am so done with this game sometimes. Can you shoot? Block it. Get here and shoot him in the face. Thank you. I won. My first fucking fight today. I've actually won. My god. I even got a fucking jacket from this thing. Ooh. Su suicide special. Wow. But the best part is that I got a level up. I'm on level 2 right now. Yay. They have some 
points I can spare. Where am I at? Oh. Oh! I got fees. But I want skill points. What the fuck? And I think I'm gonna go for sharp shooter over here. Range at M at plus 10. Penetration plus 10. Okay. That that should require perp. Perf 8. Perception. I got 9, so I can work with that thing. But why I don't got any points? What are my fucking points? I got a feat, but I didn't have a fucking point. Okay, let's give it a try one more one more try with the fucking frogs, shall we? 34. Okay. This time I've healed up my characters. I've I've, I've given them some armor, so they should be fine, right? Four. Hmm. Not great, not terrible. Eleven. I can work with that thing. Apparently, to actually fight with the stupid shits, what you need is like a proper armor for your legs. Surprise, surprise. They actually go for your legs. So that's why you need a proper armor for, well, your legs. I don't think this is gonna work this time, though. Ow. Okay. Finish them off. Nice. Wow, progress! Finally! I don't fucking believe this shit! The one to heal? Probably not. I think I'm gonna regret that decision. I'm gonna... Oh, and I just died. I've regret that decision. I've returned to do, deal with the fight. I've hid the customer over here, like behind the crates, because like... He's like the priority target and apparently his armor sucks completely. Hey! This is some nice shooting over here, boys! And you've missed, of course. Come on, two of you guys missed. At close fucking range. Oh my god. Oh my god, I really wish that you guys are terrible, but... Holy shit, how bad can you fucking be? Reaction attack. Really? Really? Oh, okay, my Evans is about to fucking die as well. That, that's great, that's awesome. Oh, crap. Okay, Evans... Uh, I'm gonna try to protect you with my body. Hello! Okay, guest, and can I still reload? I can still reload. I am so fucking awesome. Okay, blocked. Hopefully he won't be able to shoot me. Swap the weapon to the pistol. I've missed. Guest for one. Six. Missed. And he got shocked. <laughs> Unbelievable! What a fucking loser! Okay, well, can't do the protection protection mission, so let's try to do the grenade mission once again. I killed that guy already, so that's a, that's progress already. Wow. All of a sudden you remember how to shoot? Hmm. Impressive. Ow. Ha! You've missed. Uh-oh. Here comes Mele. Ow. Oh, great. We can actually dodge from time to time. How delightful. Shoot him in the, in the face. Swap the weapon and finish him off. I said finish him off. You cannot finish him off because fucking reasons. Okay, that sucks. Hmm. Hide maybe over here. Okay, and turn. And now my dear friend though. Out of range. You've got to be kidding me with this. Out of range, okay. Move away. I said move away. Okay, can you now shoot him? And you've missed. Eight. Thank you! Wow! I'm doing some progress today. After like one hour and 30 minutes of complete fucking failure, I'm actually doing some fucking progress. Actually, after one hour and 30 minutes, I'm actually doing some proper progress in this game without constantly dying to everything for the entirety of this episode. A never ending struggle of actually gaining my first goddamn level. Ow! Ugh, I'm gonna fucking murder you. See? Oh, wow. Now we hit for 15. Why you didn't do that thing before? Why you haven't done that thing before? Huh? Okay. Oh, now we are talking. Thank you. And what does your friend have? Oh. <laughs> A knife. Okay. We're getting some equipment over here. Uh, well, not the best one around here, but it's always something. And inside of this thing... Lockpick, take the course. Unlock the box and take the course. Yay! Is there anything else worth of my time here? I wonder if I can actually sneak inside of this, this warehouse and, <laughs> and grab the items without without the guy knowing that you, well, 
taking them. Probably. Maybe. Guys, I want you to go outside if that would be a possibility. Thank you. Oh, you have to open up the door. Ah, too bad you cannot open up the window. That'd be like a great way to rowing play through this thing through. Now, when I was going back in this city to the med hub, I've actually went to the doctor and she offered me a quest. Uh, not this thing. The quest was... Get the implants. Jimmy has the implants. You can find him in the warehouse E7 in Camp Town. E7 in Camp Town. Where the fuck is a bloody ass container E7? Ah, hello. Somewhere over here. Okay. I hope not. Yeah, my, my hackers actually can go around and get over there. Is there anyone else here that I can interact with? So, to get like some experience points and some equipment. I think this is this, this is the guy. Sarah sent me. The scout looks you over one more time but steps outside without com- Why this high security? Too many screws out looking for an easy score those days. We like to shift our match quickly and quietly. Let's travel that way. Sure. The so-called match consists of three designated heads fixed to cruel standards uh, with wire expressions frozen forever in the rictus of their dying moments more than a century ago. Whether they were mutineers or security officers in their day, they stand united now. All three heads sport ocular and narrow oplex implants, a rich hull even if half the implants are fried. This one's sergeant, I think. The sky points out the dent dental metal knob embedded in the left template. A squad leader. Maybe even tag team if you're lucky. Biotech, examine the merchandise. What's the difference? Standard squat leader implants gives you nothing but the basics. Of course, they are not susceptible for real training, but when you NCO are dropping like flies, the squat leader will turn into a dump grunt into a semi-component officer. Then, there are the upgrades. Military police is nice, but the drag team module is a real upper echelon stuff. Elite hardware that changes the outcomes in your favor. Hard to put a price on gear like that that good. What about the other two? Standard package, narrow link, uh, neural uplink and military grade ocular kit. Yeah, I don't have the biotech to examine the corpses. They are powered by biotech. Okay, let's try to examine those. The implants have been dormant for over a century. You can't tell if they still function. Sarah said you have something for her. Or her high funded credits, so the standard package should cover it, says the scarf pointing at the heads with the standard gear. Take one of the heads with the standard gear. What about the squad leader? Sorry, friend. Gear that rather never st stays put for long. Got a buyer on that way. Here's as we speak. As I queue, the door slides open and a fully armored, heavy set man. Whoa, okay. Streets into the warehouse. He's, he's trailed by a couple of flunkies, hired, you're guessing, to squat if anything comes under his six. The big man pauses for a moment like a predator sniffing their air and glances into every corner of the room when his eyes lands on you. He waits until his goggles get a read on you, then frowns. C clearly, this man, this is the man who doesn't like surprises. Which one is mine? He knows the grotesque heads. Sorry, bud. First come. First serve. <laughs> Take one of the heads with standard gear and leave. Oh. I wonder can I actually have a different outcome of this thing. But that's gonna be the final episode of the man. We're gonna try to do in the future episodes because right now I'm running out of medical time. So for now, I'm gonna have this previous episode as over here. We still have this thing to check out in a bunch of other places. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I like what this thing is going so far. The only thing I kinda don't like is that you could add a bit more of a variety how to do certain quests. But then again, this is the first location, so maybe you're supposed to do it the hard way. I don't know, we'll see how this is gonna go in the future episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Subscribe a lot. See you in the next video.